Hi, this is Julian Price with Life Edit and Design, and welcome to this series of how to run your coaching business in Notion for free. I hope that you really get excited about this series because there's so much you can do with Notion. I think people haven't even begun to scratch the surface of what you can do. And what's really, really cool is that it's free. So let's dive in. I wanna show you through the series how you don't need any other software to run your coaching business. You can track your finances, you can track your marketing, you can track your clients, but you can also communicate with your clients and use this as your uh, kind of your coaching portal. And we're gonna dive deep into that so that you get a really good sense of how you can do this. So this first video is just kind of an introductory um, video showing you a little bit about Notion and how to navigate your first page, but we're gonna spend a lot more time here on this client page, which will be important. So first thing I recommend, uh, obviously you need a Notion account and it's free, so go ahead and get a Notion account. That's what I would start off with. This is their homepage. And then what I would recommend is just in the beginning, if you scroll all the way down on their page, towards the bottom, they have a template. And I would recommend just playing with templates. When you go in, there's a whole bunch of templates you can see. So see all templates, you can see all kinds, and you can just pick anything. I would recommend just playing with that. You know, spend an hour or two just you know, messing around um, just to get a feel for it. Also, Notion has a lot of great tutorials, which I would definitely recommend watching some of their starter tutorials to get a sense of how to use it. So these videos are gonna talk about how to use it as a coach. Uh, but I'm not going to talk about the basic functionality of how to, you know, do some colors and some other stuff. So really, you want to kind of watch some of their tutorials because they do a great job giving you a, an introduction to it. So that's where I recommend everyone starts. Just spend, you know, a little bit of time, an hour or two, just messing around. Nothing serious, just playing with it. Then my next step I recommend, this is my Etsy shop, Life Edit and Design, and I have templates here, and I would recommend you get this basic template. Now, I know I just finished saying that you can do Notion for free, and you can completely build this template for free if you want to. You don't have to buy this um, template from me, um, but I recommend that your time is worth, you know, right now it's $29 as a time of recording, but you know, your time is worth, you know, the time it would take you to build what I've already built for you. I would just say, start with this, 30 bucks, it's no big deal. Um, it'll save you a ton of time and get you started. And that will get you to this page here, which we're going to now walk through. So that's how I recommend. Play around first, get just a very general sense, get your free account, play around with a free template, then go and purchase uh, my template just to get you started. Again, it's worth your time. I'm not asking for a whole lot, but I think it'll save you um, a ton of time to get started. So. This is what you'll get when you first get in. There are tutorials. You're going to want to watch those, which will show you how to um, do everything here. But you want to make sure that you du duplicate the database. So when you first get in, you'll see this duplicate button up here. Make sure you duplicate it. That makes it your own copy. So what can you do on this homepage? Very, very basic. Um, and again, you can completely customize it, which is what I love. So first thing you can do is customize this. You can name, this is just a text field. You can name this anything you want and any what you name, whatever you change it here, we'll change it here, we'll change it up here, and we'll change it over in the sidebar um, for the name. So, you know, name it your business name, whatever you want. You could just call it your dashboard, whatever, that's up to you. This is your navigation bar, which will take you from all the pages that are currently in the database. If you add pages, you're going to want to edit this um, little bar here. This is called a, um, synced block and so you can just type in any new pages and link them i'm not going to get into the functions of how to do that but it's not that hard then you have your weekly agenda here which is where you could drop in your to do's and what i love is that if you get this little six dots here you can drag things so right now i'm recording a video then maybe i upload the video on tuesday so you can drag and drop things wherever you want to and again the tutorials will show you a little bit more about that but you can change this. So I recommend when you're using this for your coaching business is that you have your personal and your business little to-dos here. Down here, you have all your appointments, right? Up here can just be your to-dos. And it's up to you if you want to have um, you know, your business and personal mixed. I think it's a big, no big deal to do that, but you may want to feel differently or you may want to color code. If you use these six dots, you can use some colors and you can make personal one color and uh, business another color, or you could change these instead of Saturday and Sunday. This could be a personal list. You could change this to a business list. Um, that's completely up to you. No, that's not what I want to, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so it's up to you. Just because I have it laid out this way does not mean you have to keep it this way. You can go back and forth 
change this up so you could say um, today and tomorrow and sometime this week if you wanted to you you know you don't have to use Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday again I'm not going to show you how to edit this you can get great tutorials over on notion on how to do that but this is a great starter and again I'd say play with this in the beginning and the tutorials will show you more on how to use this but this is where you can keep all your to do's and down here is where you can keep all your appointments anything that's scheduled so you can see that there's times here 12 5 you can do things without a time so you see there's no time here on this one and say you want to add you know you have a doctor's appointment today's the 13th so you can say oh I have a doctor's appointment doctor appointment and you can say it's on this date and you can add in a time and it's not gonna be 12 a.m. but let's say it's um 11 a.m. and so you can put that in there and now you'll see there's an appointment and there's a time you can also do things like say you don't want to take any client appointments this week you could say uh, maybe you're going to a conference and you can put in your date and this time you could put in an end date so if it's something that takes a few days and you want to say okay I can't take any clients through here you could drop that in now you see you have a block here. This isn't going to prevent you from making appointments. This is just telling you for visual reference. So you don't need to use Google Calendar anymore if you don't want to. You can have all your appointments right here. You can see them all on one screen. You can tell these are clients because they have the little client icons and these are appointments, things like that. So you can come up with your own coding system, completely flexible the way that you use this um, page. But this gets you out of using Google Calendar. This gets you out of using something like Todoist or Trello. So already we've kind of wiped out two pieces of software just with using this one free piece of software. So this was just an introductory to that home page, but we're gonna spend a lot of time right here on this client's page in the next video. So I'll see you in the next one.